Okay, so this gives us an understanding of basically a value scale. That's what we've created here. And what we want to do next is start to understand color. So I'm going to make this scale into a little bit more of a chart. Um, essentially, that's what we're going to end up with here is a chart. And I'm just going to drag some of this paint across here. I am working on a piece of cardboard. You can work on whatever you want. Obviously, at this point, you already are. Um, I like to work on just a piece of cardboard because I don't want to use up a nice panel for this. There we go. Rough lines for my chart. And I can put some, because I'm working on this <laughs> cardboard, I can also just draw lines with my turpentine if I want to have some verticals also doesn't matter how many you do. The more there are, the longer it'll take you. But um, the idea here is that in every row, you can put whatever color you want, as long as it's the same value as that gray. So in this one, they're all gonna be light. In this one, I'm not gonna try to do anything. I'm just gonna leave that. But in this one, they're all gonna be this value, but they're gonna be a color. And then in, each one of these rows, I can put whatever color I want, as long as it's the same value as what's happening there. Now, the interesting part of this is that really, you, you're allowed to do it imperfectly. Um, so, which means that you can allow your paint to educate you as you go. Um, so when you see something that's maybe not um, what you want it to be, like a little too light or a little too dark, you can change it. You can also do tests. So I'm gonna start with, you can do this with pure color or you can do it with mixtures. I'm gonna do a orangey mixture to start with. So here's a really pretty color, just kind of um, a color. So I'm aiming for, right now I'm aiming for this one. So I'm gonna do a little test right here. And it's probably hard to see in the video, but in person I can see that that color is darker than my gray. And it's, it can also be useful to just dab it sort of in the gray I'm gonna do a close up. So now you might be able to see that the pink dab in the gray barely shows. When it, that's something to look for that can mean that they are the same value. So I'm gonna go with that. This one I'm gonna put right here. Now, it's difficult to read color relative to value. See right there, it looks too light. So, is it too light? Let me make it a little darker. Now, how do I make things lighter or darker? Well, lighter isn't that difficult. I would add white. And if you're doing like a green or something, you can always adjust the color as you go. The thing is, this is what's on our palette. So if you're gonna make it darker, you can add any one of these to make it darker. How does this one look? Ooh, I think I like that better. All right, I like that better. If this is the first time that you've tried to compare color and value like this, I would suggest that you start with um, purple, like mix up a red and a blue together if you're a first timer, because it's easier to see and um, yellow and orange are harder to see. Yellow is the hardest of all. So now I have this color and I wanna make it lighter to fit there. So I'm gonna just add white to it. And if I'm, you know, I could say, well, I want it to feel pinker. So I'll also add some red, but I need to make sure that it's not gonna get outside my value. Oh, that looks pretty good. So. 
something that we have the opportunity. Oh no, that looks too dark. One thing that allowed me to finish my previous sentence. Um, this exercise gives us the opportunity to not only look at value and color, but also to read intervals. So by intervals, I mean from this step to this step, if you look at the edge, you can read that interval. And then you can look from here to here, and it's a different interval. If one of them is greater, you'll be able to perceive it every time. Just give yourself a little bit of time. And on this chart, I can see that this one's greater. I can also see that this is a small interval, and this is a pretty big interval. <clears throat> so, in this case, though, I don't want to make corrections in my grayscale. I just want to read this interval and read this interval because that'll help me compare these, right? So interesting. I feel like that could be lighter still. A really, really, I feel like maybe the best thing I could advise you about this whole project is to go slowly. If you go slowly, you will learn more. If you go through it quickly, you won't give your eye enough time to absorb the information. And um, th this is why I give this assignment as an exercise rather, rather than just explaining it. When I explain it to people, they think they understand it. Um, but when you do it is when you find out what's really going on, what you know, what you don't know, and how to manipulate it. So anytime you, anytime you get to a point you're like, wow, I can't tell if those are the same value or not, um, give your eye more information. So just try something else, try making it lighter and put that down and see if you can then tell. Read the intervals and see what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go down to this one. Um, but I'm gonna break my, I'm gonna break this the video so you can catch up this far.